हेलो गाइस बॉय डिटेक्टिव टोबो वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल और आज हम कंटिन्यू करेंगे द क्यू गार्डन ड्रामा चेस जहां से हमने इसे लास्ट टाइम छोड़ा था लॉक्ड A water tank. A ventilation system. It should regulate the temperature of the staff buildings. Water lily greenhouse. According to this, they have light and moisture control in some parts of the building. The symbol is not from Kew Gardens. A broom handle was half burned. A door handle? Why would anyone throw such a thing in the fire? The door handle to the colonial collection and that of the fireplace are made of the same material. The remains of a picture frame. A protective mask. Someone set it alight, but it did not burn. The plants were set alight fairly recently. Some have not completely burned. What should we do next, Holmes? Mr. Hamish, can you tell us who holds the keys to the locked greenhouses? 
That would be Albert, Mr. Dunn's son. Yes, Albert keeps all the keys, and one can only imagine why. What do you mean? Well, he was never interested in Kew Gardens before. And now, all of a sudden, he is trying to act as if he owns the place. I think he wants to take over the management here. <laughs> He'd do better to leave that to me. He has no experience. No, none at all. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. Locked. Dry tropics. This is one of the outlets of the ventilation system. Do you hold the keys to all of these locked doors? Yes, you can have them. But I cannot give you the keys to the cloakroom. The employee's effects are private. I am sure you understand. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. That is not the one. Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here.
champagne. Montague Dunn had good taste. French wine, a remarkable vintage. Newspapers discussing Kew Gardens. A photograph of Montague Dunn and Reynold Hamish. There was a bottle here. It left behind a trace of the substance that pervaded the laboratory. Gold dust? Good heavens. What's it doing here? The gold is almost immune to chemical attacks, so it may be a valuable auxiliary for various experiments. But why would anyone perform such experiments in a botanical garden? Several drops of the substance were spilled Someone carried this bottle around. Several drops. The bottle is no longer here, but it is possible to detect a faint scent. We need a good nose.
This is a table for experiments. It resembles my own. Only this one is kept in good order, Holmes. Such masks are generally worn when dealing with toxic chemicals. Gloves, waterproof aprons, everything one might need for self-protection. Do they grow dangerous plants here? It appears as though the protective equipment is missing from here. Locked. Holmes, Albert Dunn didn't give us the key to this door. It does not matter. We will open it. Open. Miss White's locker. Apparently, Miss White is a capable student. A draft of the letter that Miss White sent to her parents. These jewels must be worth a small fortune. A vanity purse. It is of high quality. Martin Hamish's locker. A review on rare and exotic plants. Martin Hamish has written several pieces. Father and I, Kew Gardens. Martin Hamish studied chemistry. Interesting.
Albert's Locker. Specialist articles on shipyards and ship construction. Albert Dunn has a great passion for shipbuilding and the sea. A rejection letter from the British Royal Naval College. picture of Miss White and Albert in front of the University of London. And they seem to get along. Chemicals, a sufficient quantity for some serious experiments. A phonograph used for voice recording. Remarkable. Yes, this is quite a modern laboratory. Martin Hamish's perception of plants. The notion of communication in the plant world has long been considered marginal, yet I remain convinced that some plants do indeed transmit chemical signals in the event of attack. A study report by Martin Hamish. And it seems clear from these multiple experiments that plants to respond to their environment and have a form of consciousness. Margaret White, February 1895. Report number 245. Study report. तो गाइस आज की वीडियो के लिए इतना ही आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आई तो लाइक कीजिए कमेंट कीजिए शेयर कीजिए और हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए मिलते हैं आपको नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए स्टे सेफ स्टे हेल्दी